I believe that if we are honest with ourselves, that the most fascinating problem in the world is who am I? What do you mean? What do you feel when you say the word I? I myself. I don't think there can be any more fascinating preoccupation than that.
day someone loses the same or creates a misunderstanding just because he does not speak intelligently. Now in the next few minutes, we're going to give you some examples of good and bad English and show you the main faults of most speakers. We'll show you some things to do and some things not to do. The first thing that every speaker should do is to learn the three basic aims of public speaking. One, you must be heard. Two, you must be understood. Three, you must be pleased. Now remember these three points. You must be heard, you must be understood, and you must be pleased. Now most of them fall short in at least one of these three points.
Bye. 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 Bye.